right. Well, every day editors assign value to the news, and the stories they deem most significant wind up on the front page. But what if you got to decide which stories take the precedence? This week, the blog News Whip compared Wednesday front pages to the most shared stories online. Here's what they found. The Wall Street Journal put the strife in Ukraine front and center. But on social media, a piece on funding for veterans got the most traffic. USA Today also put, put Putin above the fold, but a story about a teen suing her parents for college tuition made the biggest splash online. British paper The Guardian also gave the diplomatic tensions between Russia and the United States top billing, while its online readers gravitated toward a health story about the dangers of meat, eggs, and dairy. This is no surprprise <laughs> you know, the, the, the true nature of people comes out when you start checking those most shared stories or or how about when you're reading something really serious and at the bottom of the story there's all these other things like uh, 10 ways Giselle looks great in a bathing suit. And all of a sudden, you find yourself checking those things out. You realize, like, what am I doing? I'm completely off the subject. But that's how, that's really where, where we all gravitate. It is, but I give, I give the readers credit. These were substantive yeah, stories they were, that yeah. they came up with. They were just different. And, uh, and I think maybe there's something we can learn from that. Uh, those front pages, the readers' front pages actually look pretty good to me. I don't know if they look better, but I looked at them and said, those are perfectly yeah, respectable true. choices. Mine were unrespectable. I'm <laughs> I'm going to differ with that. I mean, people are very self-focused, like, what should I eat? Yeah. And very gossip-focused, yeah. like, what does Giselle look like? Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think that... I'm not interested in Brian Williams having the first story on the nightly news be... There was a cat, you know, YouTube video that was really popular today. Even if it was, you know, genuinely, absolutely the most popular shared thing on social media. I think there is some editorial judgment to say, actually, you know what, Crimea, most popular thing. Not that you're most interested in it, but it was actually the most popular thing. I'm, I'm just going to be a nerd about it. Right there. <laughs> but they did better than that. They yeah. did better. They did than do that. better than that. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I don't. I don't want things d determined by the most emailed list. I mean, let that be the most emailed list. The fact is that uh, editors across the board are under increasing pressure to look at analytics and to make decisions based mm -hmm. on these yeah, this, this, these very metrics. You know, and 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 so far, most of them resist putting the peach cobbler recipe on page one. <laughs> you know, but it's uh, but you know it's all there for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, and I. I, I kind of think that editors sometimes live in a bubble, and it is good to get this kind of information. I think, they, I think it gets very self-referential in those mm -hmm. conference rooms sometimes, yeah. and, and I think it is good to get this outside feedback. Well, I have to say that, you know, analytics can only tell you a, about one piece of a person. I have wide-ranging interests. So I'm going to read a great amount of detail about Putin because I'm scared about what's happening there. But i got to say, last week, two of the Real Housewives are going to jail. I read it thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> now, where do you put me? <laughs> you know, come on. <laughs> you know, I, I got wide-ranging interests. I think it's hard to determine where somebody has, you know, real serious news interests. I do. Yeah. But i got other interests. It's a good point because you're not going <laughs> to. Uh, retweet or put out a story about the Ukraine as the most popular because it's like it's just the news today. It's just you know, but something about the real. You'd say, oh, check this out. Yeah, be more apt to. There do. you go.